Hello and welcome back to Wonder Robson's and this week we're going to do something a bit different. One of the issues you have is if you go away with a caravan or a motorhome, but if you go for a long period of time, it's like you don't necessarily want to take lots and lots of clothes. So this is the ultimate solution to that problem. So I'm going to say a big thank you at the start here to John and Mandy and also uh, Life Beyond Bricks who give us these tips about these outdoor washing areas. You get them quite often in the continent, but not so often here in the UK. So while we're on our trip to Northwick, we've decided to come and try one out. Obviously, firstly, put your washing in the washing machine, which one you want. This one here we're using is a big 18 kilos. The number two, which you probably can't see, touchscreen system here, is if you click it, hit on a wash. What size? That was the 18 kilo one. Uh, do you want softener? Add in? No, that's extra. Uh, would you ever see an SMS when it's finished? Uh, no, that's absolutely fine because I'm going to be here anyway. And then obviously on this side, card. And then that's it done. Yeah, and then on the actual machine, but you're going to can't see, gives you temperatures. You've got to set it on here. So I'm just going to put it on 40. You can see that? 41 minutes, and then press the start button down here to get it going. So the few different options at water washing machine section. The one the furthest right for us was an 8 kilos, but the average of a family home washing machine. The middle one we've used is 18 kilos, and the last one is a dryer. So the washing machine, the 8 kilo one is £4. The 18 kilo one is £8 and then the drive is £2, I think for about a half an hour. So we're going to drop off the car, wander back round and see if it's done. Um, obviously it's up to you whether you leave it in there because as far as I can tell, I don't think anybody can get into it while it's on. But fortunately there's a couple here who nicely uh, go look after us. So we're going to drop the car and we'll wander back round and hopefully by then give a ticket it's nearly done. You also can get the machine to send you an SMS to let you know when it is ready so you could pop out and then come back. But what a great way You've been able to go away in your car on a motorhome without taking lots and lots of stuff with you and still um, you can wash your stuff out and about. So big thanks again to John and Mandy and also Life Beyond Bricks who led us onto this. And actually on John and Mandy's website, um, I'll put a link down below in the description and also to John and Mandy's YouTube. Just popped back after about 35 minutes now, it's got 8 minutes left to run and you can tell that by looking at the little display screen next to the machine. Then we'll have to pop it into the tumble dryer, pay again at the front, and hopefully another half an hour we'll have all our washing nice and clean. I think you can do a really good idea on the whole, but there are a couple of negatives as well as many positives. One of the negatives is if you get here and it's used. So when we got here, there was already some used and had another half an hour. So we had to wait half an hour before we could get into the washing machine. When we then put our load on, it took longer than the smaller load. So basically because of that, the person who was using the smaller load came back late, but still before hours are finished, and now put theirs in the tumble dryer. So now we've got to wait another half an hour or longer until the person comes back. And I don't know what the rules are. Often if you're in a, one of the campsites, you can actually take their stuff out and put it, you know, I'd normally kind of put it on the top quite carefully. I don't know what the rules are here. So we've been waiting quite a while now. Our washing's completely done, but because it only has one dryer, it means that we have to now wait until we can use the dryer but we can't use the dryer until eventually they come back and get their clothes so there is a few negatives of these as well over a normal campsite particularly if people come put their stuff in and then disappear right now to sort out the dryer same sort of thing again you basically touch screen pick dry option i'll pick it i think 15 is going to be too short let's try 45 given the amount of things that were in there and that's going to cost six pounds so put on. and then that's done 45 minutes so you've got to come over to the main machine pick what heat you want from hot it's just going to go up the number as it's doing it we'll get the 45 press start and hopefully that'll get going there you go maybe 30 might have done but i didn't want to kind of get back and find it was still wet so 45 probably be okay it's just dowels and things so it's not going to do any damage so uh yeah i think these things are a really good idea but they do have their good points Great for motorhomers and people maybe you can kind of park. You could park maybe your motorhome and get on with some work or do other things, kind of make your dinner great. Caravan people, I think it's good on the whole, but it just depends if you get here at the right time. We obviously got here at the wrong time because now there's absolutely nobody here. So I think it's a good idea. Photo me and as I said, join on Mandy's website um, and you can find out exactly where they are. 